Master the game and join dating and life coach Mr. Locario live in New York City on Saturday, March 25th in Times Square for the Bad Boy Seminar. Mr. Locario has some exclusive realistic approaches to the dating game that will help you be successful with women. Purchase your tickets at MrLocario.com. Space is extremely limited, so pick up your tickets today at MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com. MrLocario.com. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about simping and how you've been conditioned to simp. Okay, this is why you have a lot of guys out here who are on that simp shit because they've been conditioned to simp, right? And the thing is, um, what happens is that a lot of guys, they, you know, turn into simps because this is how they've been taught. This is how they've been raised. They've been raised to simp. You understand what I'm saying? And so you got a lot of guys out there and, you know, certain guys, you know, they start to see the light. They start to peep game. They start to see what's really going on. And then they get out of that simping, right? But what happens is, is that a lot of guys are conditioned to simp. Now, what is simping for those who don't know, right? So simping is basically a guy, you know, bending over backwards to please women. Uh, he puts women on a pedestal and, you know, he does whatever he needs to do uh, to get women, you know, at the cost of his own integrity and manhood and all that other stuff. You feel me? Um, but the thing that you got to understand is this, is that simping is really more about your intentions. You understand? It's more about your intentions about what you're doing, because on the surface, you know, a lot of guys, they'll look at simping and they'll think like, let's say, for example, if a guy, um, you know, goes out with a woman and he, you know, takes her to an expensive dinner or something like that, or, you know, he, he, uh, spends a lot of money on a date right now. Generally you would say that simping like, Oh, he's doing all of that. Cause he's trying to impress her. He's, you know, you know, shelling out all this money to do this and do that. Right now that could be simping based off of his intentions. Right. But then on the other hand, it could be, you know, you couldn't call it simping depending on the guy's intentions. So for example, let's say the guy spends a whole bunch of money on dinner, or whatever, one guy could be simping because he's spending all this money, he's taking her to this extravagant restaurant because he feels like, oh, if I do this, then she's going to like me. Or if I do this, she's going to have sex with me and all this other stuff. Now, that is simping because his intention is to do that, to impress her, to get her to like him. You understand what I'm saying? Now, on the other hand, you can have a guy who, let's say he takes his chick to this you know, expense, this expensive, extravagant restaurant. And the reason why he's taking her there is because he goes to that restaurant a lot. He loves that restaurant. He knows all the people there. And he's like, look, you know, I, I'm hollering at this chick. I'm going to take her to this spot that I like going to. And, you know, because I like fucking going there. And that's that. You understand? So in that situation, it's not simping because his intention is not to take her there to impress her or to bend over backwards to try to make, you know, this chick like him. He's just taking her there because that's what he does. That's what he likes to do. That's the, that's his spot. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of times the simping is all about the intention, you see. But unfortunately, what happens is, is that you have so many guys out here who will do certain things and it's you see it and you're like, okay, that's simping because most of the time these guys are doing shit to impress chicks and to bend over backwards to please the woman, you understand? And so the thing is, a lot of guys have been conditioned in society, you know, for, you know, with things like, let's say like, you you know, you see something like, um, you know, you've been taught, oh, when you see a woman come in, make sure you you open the door for her or, you know, make sure you stand up when a woman enters the room or, you know, pull out the chair for her and all this other craziness. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, if you take a woman out, you got to pay for the whole date. All of this shit, you've been conditioned over and over again to do these type of things. You understand what I'm saying? So then you've been conditioned to simp, right? And again, like I said, the simping is about the intentions because, you know, you could open a door for a chick, but you might be the type of person who's opening a door for anybody because you're like, well, if I see a person coming and I'm, 
you know, near the door, I'll open the door for them. Or if I'm, you know, see, uh, you know, anybody come in, I'll hold the door for them. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, so that wouldn't necessarily be considered simping if you held the door for that chick, because that's just what you do anyway. You understand? You're not doing it specifically for her because she's a woman and because you're trying to win favor with her. You understand? So if you did that in that context, than that simping. You understand what I'm saying? So again, it's about that intention. But again, you are conditioned by society to do these things strictly for women. Right? And the the the, the sad part is is that society sets you up to be a goddamn simp. It sets you up to be a simp because you know, you know how they they have this saying always. Every time I hear this, I always have to laugh because I'm like these fucking people. Um, you know, they'll say some shit like, you know, they have the argument of who should pay on the date, and this and this and that, and they say, well, whoever asked should pay, right? That's what they say. Whoever asked should pay, right? Now, who, which, 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 which gender or sex or whatever you want to call it, right? Which person is more likely to ask out the other person right it's the guy it's the man the man is asking out the women right the man is approaching the woman the man is pursuing the chick so by saying that the person who asks should pay you're basically saying the man should pay so what you're doing is is that you're setting it up for the man to have to pay right so the thing is, you know, is setting you up to be in that simp category in that territory. Now you or you now you're in a position where it's like, oh well, I guess I have to pay because I asked her out and I'm the guy. So, you know, I got to do this for this woman. You understand? I have to do it because she's a girl and that's what I'm supposed to do for her. That's what I have to do to please her. So basically, I'm, you know, it's just going into simping territory and category, right? And so what happens is, is that it's set up in a way where it's, it's sometimes even hard to get out of that situation like that. Because, you know, if let's, let's, let's keep it real here. If you were to, um, you know, like, go up to a whole bunch of chicks and say, hey, let's go on a date. And then let's say all the chicks you say, let's go on a date with, they'd be like, look, I want to take you out on a date or let's go out on a date. But, um, you know, you got to pay for everything. All right. Matter of fact, no, you got to pay not only for this date, but you got to pay for the the next three dates. We the first, you know, the next three dates we go on, I'm not paying shit. You're going to pay for everything. I right? is that cool with you, lady? Is that is that is that cool? Right now, the fact that she's conditioned as a woman to, uh, you know, not date that way, you're probably not going to go on any, any dates. You see what I'm saying? So the shit is already, um, you know, set up in that manner. Right. And now, you know, the argument that a lot of people will bring up is that they'll say, oh, but you know, the guy should pay because the woman has to sort of see if this guy is the type of guy who can provide and protect for her and, you know, and, and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, but see, the thing is when you're dating, when you're first dating someone, each person is getting to know the other person. So there is no providing and protecting shit because the guy doesn't know if he wants to provide or protect for this woman anyway he doesn't even know if he wants to go on a goddamn second date with her so what are we even going down that route if we want to get it into that realm so that's irrelevant right but again it's just more excuses to condition you to simp now this is why i tell guys because you know if, if i'm saying oh damn you know you're conditioned to simp by going on all these dates and you know you got to pay and do this and do that this is why I tell guys to, one, go to play. If you're going to date chicks, one, you have to understand that when you're going on a date, you should be dating a woman to evaluate her, to see if she is cool enough to fuck with you. That Now, two, is that when you go on these dates, you should do shit that you want to do. So you take her to do something you want to do, right? Then three, you, you, know, you do something that is cheap. Right. And four, you do something where she can also participate in paying for something. So if you go to get a drink, you know, always say, hey, listen, I'm gonna get the first round. You get the second round. 
right? So when you do things like this, it takes you out of the realm of being on some sim shit. See, this is the thing that I always hated about um, the dating game. You understand? And this is why I always wanted to, you know, teach guys to come at it different. And, and, you know, and these are stuff that I use and people that I coach. And you know, I always tell guys, listen, don't come at this game trying to, uh, you know, simp your way into the shit. You understand what I'm saying? You're, where, you're, where you're coming at it, where you're trying to um, get a girl by trying to, um, quote unquote, and I hate this fucking uh, saying, win her over. I hate when I hear fucking guy, oh, I, I want to win her heart. I want to win her over. Like, fuck out of here with that shit. When you're dating, you're trying to find a chick who's going to be down with your motherfucking program, period. That's what you should be doing. You understand what I'm saying? So all of your maneuvers and, every, and, and your strategy should be in that realm, not on some sim shit. You understand what I'm saying? And see, the thing is, again, when we're talking about, you know, Guys are, are conditioned to be on some sim shit. Guys don't realize how conditioned they are when it comes to the sim shit. Like the shit goes fucking deep. You understand to the point where, um, you know, you have men out here who they will basically, uh, you know, slave away at their jobs. <laughs> you understand? And let's say they have a wife or a girlfriend they live with or whatever. They'll slave away at their jobs and, you know. They'll freaking, you know, come home, uh, give the wife all their money, all this other bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? That's straight simping. Now, again, this is all about intention, right? Now, if you are working and your woman isn't working and she's at home taking care of the house and or your kids or whatever, then I understand that. That's cool. You should be working and taking care of that situation, right? And as a man, you should be having, you know, money, period, and doing what you got to do, right? But you have dudes out here, and I, I've seen this on Facebook and all, you know, and even message boards, and it just makes me want to fucking vomit, where I see dudes, they talk about, you know, oh, you know, if, if your woman's making more money than you, uh, then she should be able to make the decisions or, you know, you can't make the decision if your woman is making more money than you, right? So their rationale is saying, well, I got to make a lot of money so that I can make the decision. Now, again, these people have been conditioned by society to believe that if whoever has the most money is going to be the person who uh, makes the rules. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the thing is, in in society, you can say that happens as far as how, uh, you know, companies and jobs are concerned. And you can also say that, um, you know, because those are businesses, right? And you can also say that your 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 um relationship is sort of like a business, right? But in this business of a relationship between a man and a woman, the masculinity and the femininity comes before the fucking money. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it don't matter if this chick is making more money than you, you still are the man. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you still are the one who's going to lead and manage that relationship, right? So it's that sim shit that gets you thinking that, oh, well, you know, if she has the money, then she's going to run the show and that's what's going to needs to happen. And I need to get the money in order for me to be that man in order to run, you know, run the shit and make the shit go where it needs to go. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and that's, that's not the business at all. Right. See, by that logic, if me and my girl had a kid and that kid became, you know, uh, some child star at, at 12 years old or some shit, and he's make, he's in the movies and he's making half a million, uh, you know, a movie. Well, you know, he has the most money, so he should be running the household, right? You see what I'm saying? Like, this shit is, is, is stupid. But the thing is, is that, you, again, men are conditioned to uh, believe this shit. Like, I've even heard other stuff, which is, you know, just makes me want to freaking... Uh, it's, it's disgusting. But anyway, I've even heard other guys say that, you know, if they're working and their wife is working or their girlfriend's working or whatever, and they're living with them, they say shit like, well, um, you know, my wife or my girl or the girl, she gets to keep all of her money 
and do whatever the hell she wants to do with her money. But then my money as the man, I'm supposed to take care of everything else. I got to take care of her, the house, all this other shit. But she ain't got to spend a dime, even though she's working. Simp motherfucking shit. Okay, again, these guys are conditioned to be fucking simps. They are bending over backwards to please that woman. Because the thing is, if she has a job and you have a job, y'all y'all it's supposed to be, that's that's not just her money. That's your money too. You understand what I'm saying? Just like your money is her money. If y'all are in, in a marriage or whatever, that's our money. That ain't, oh, I'm, you know, since I'm the man, I got to fucking bend over backwards and, and, and bust my ass to do all this shit. Even though you making money too. You understand what I'm saying? It's not like you're a housewife. You're actually working at some company. You understand what I'm saying? And and, and doing all this shit. I'm, you're supposed to be just keeping your money and I'm supposed to give all my money to, 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 to serve you? Get the fuck out of here. You understand what I'm saying? Again, intention. So if your intentions is to be this fucking guy who has been conditioned to, to think he needs to uh, you know, do all this extra shit to take care of this woman who is also bringing in money, but she ain't got to put in nothing. You're, you're on some sim shit. You, you've been conditioned hard. Like they got you. You understand what I'm saying? This is why a lot of dudes actually be going on, be doing that MGTOW shit. Truthfully. This is why a lot of cats is on that men going their own way and all this other stuff. Because, you know, a lot of the MGTOW dudes, um, you know, that you got the ones that's on that extra, extra shit, you understand? But on the core, you know, philosophy of it, a lot of these cats, they peeped the, the sim shit and they was like, nah, I'm, I'm cool on that sim shit. You feel what I'm saying? But a lot of dudes are, you know, continuing to be on that sim shit. See, all you got to do at the end of the day, when it comes to dating and relationships and dealing with these women is again, figure out what the fuck you want right? Then once you figure out what you want, you find a woman who is going to be down with that program. You understand? And then what you do is that you build with that chick, you upgrade that chick, you, you know, you create a situation where she benefits off of following your program. See, when you're simping, what you're doing is, is that you are trying to go along with a woman's program, you're trying to do what she you think she wants to do, you understand what I'm saying? And you're doing all of this in order to win favor and you know f- from her. You you want her to like you. You want to be um appreciated. You don't you you don't feel wanted and you feel like okay, this is what I need to do in order to get this woman to want me. I need to uh bend over backwards. I need to do everything in my power you know, even at the expense of my own happiness and well-being and, you know, feelings and all, it doesn't matter. It's all about her. She is the queen. I must praise her, worship her, and make sure that she is getting everything she wants. And I have to do it uh, even if I don't feel like it because I need to make sure that, you know, I'm making everything Uh, you know, more pleasurable and easy in her life so that I could, so that I can feel like a man now. You understand? That's how I feel like a man when I, uh, you know, please this woman. You understand what I'm saying? So they got it all backwards. They feel like a man because they're pleasing this woman or they're bending over backwards to do all this extra shit. But a man does what he wants and he finds a woman who's going to be down with this program, period. That's it. So, you know, all you guys who are simping out here, you need to get off it. You need to chill the fuck out. You need to, uh, you know, grab your nuts and, and you know, understand what the fuck is going on and just stop being on this simp shit. Click the link below or go to MrLocario.com to get tickets for the Bad Boy Seminar, which is on March 25th, 2017. Space is limited, so get your tickets today. 
Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership membership.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com